Hello everyone, and I'm going to play some called Amir. This is a computer game. So I'm going to start with a E4. My opponent is answering with E4. I may as well attack their pawn with a knight to F3. They're protecting their pawn with the knight to C6. I'm going to protect my pawn. So yeah, this is playing my game. The four knights game. I'm bringing my bishop to c4. There are, uh, well, I am just, I'm, I've gone like that because I've never seen them move before. Not ever I've seen anyone do that. So now I'm going to castle. And then I'm going to see if I can bring my bishop out into the game. So not really doing much really anything. Okay, I like capturing. Then now I'm gonna bring my knight there. Capture a knight for free. But then that won't be a good move. Because you see the queen I'm just letting the queen let it be opened up into the game. I don't want to do that. So it's okay. No, I do want to do that. Hmm, I hate doing this. Hate doing that really much. Queen swap. It's currently same points. Why not a queen swap? Look, their king is directly opened. And I'm in a better position currently, I think. Attacking their rook. Winning a rook. Now I'm just uh, two points ahead of my opponent. For my next for, for my next move, I'm gonna bring my rook into the game. Maybe rook here. So then, but the problem the problem is pawn. So I'm taking it out. Second my rook, okay. Okay, double bishop attacks. That's a good move. I I got a bishop and a pawn and traded it with the only just one bishop. Now I'm gonna go in and see if I can attack their pawn here and capture it. Boom. And then now I'm gonna see the king is in a pin to the knight. If I, I'm going to bring my rook here, to here, and then, that's what I might do actually. The king will have to move, and I can uh, gladly, happily capture the unprotected rook. With more, with now 10 points ahead of my opponent. Now I, I can, I wanted, I wanted to earlier, but I can do it now too. Bring my rook into the game, the more. I'm gonna bring my rook here because you know. I think if you know, if you don't know, that two rooks combined is very powerful together. I'm gonna start by attacking the bishop. Attacking the king next. Be careful where you go, king. I'm not intending this in a draw. Oh no! Okay, so here. I could try bringing this here now, though it's been unprotected. Now, from here, in this position, I can bring my rook here, giving a pain to the bishop and the king. Now, I can capture their bishop, because the king's moved away from it. I can protect the rook by, as I said earlier, very strong move, combining the rooks together. Or, we could do this. Still, it's the same, but now I can do this, bringing it down. And I can use my pawns too, making my king go down into the very corner, where it really actually can't really much go anywhere much, much else. Well, the king's now trapped. I brought my rook up here, so if you can see, if I if I did this, 
my rook to there, then the king could just come back here. But instead, I did this move so I can do this. The king's traps he can't go there or there or there. The pawn's blocking everything. And there, I've used my, well, lots of my pieces. I've captured everything using pins. And yeah, just using some pins. So that is chess lesson seven. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching this.